So hi, I'm here at Car Toys, and uh, I was defrauded at Car Toys. Um, basically defrauded. I mean, they won't admit they've done anything wrong yet. So, but we're gonna get to the bottom of it. Uh, he installed my deck fucking backwards. So when I go to the right, it goes to the left. And and basically, he charged me a thousand dollars. He charged me a thousand dollars for an install on a three hundred dollar deck. Um, and uh, uh, to redo the wiring job that he freaking sloppily did given you know the ground and the battery terminals up up front you know uh, uh, he did I should pay for but the rest of it a lot of it you know uh, the five hours or whatever five hundred dollars he charged me for for time right here for this lab fee that lab fee most of that should have been covered they said fucking the deck install was free and all the rest of the crap was rework except that so a lot of that lab works free and a lot of the parts they fried out because of their shoddy job and then they made me pay for another one because they put a four gauge wire here see that a four gauge wire they put a four gauge wire right there and then they put two four gauge wires right there on going right to my amps drawn 1800 watts and it melted the fuse holder see how hot it got see the screw size see that screw set screw it's for twice as big as wire like fucking the goddamn uh, 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 company said JL audio says right here you know without speaking to car toys I wouldn't be able to make a final judgment call on the case of the failure the cause of the failure but uh, a rusted ground point is definitely a bad sign and could cause excessive current draw and heat buildup we would normally wouldn't want to split from four gauge to uh, 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 you know yeah split from a fucking shoddy four gauge one that's fucking frayed out to the max look when, when he did that there's a bunch of frays in there that's not even four gauge that's fucking four and a half that sorry ass installer Clint and you know and so so here we go there's JL and it's like yeah here's my, what I sent to him it's like I had a fuse holder with two fuses melt car toys installation it's supposed to be guaranteed the installer screwed up uh you know and at the ground and uh the power and didn't do it right and it rusted short fuse holder the car toys is supposed to have installation guarantee but they charged me four and a half hours labor to fix all this horse shit and blamed it on your fuse holder not the sloppy install i'm just curious what you guys think yeah that's from jl so i'm gonna have these people call me uh because uh, car toys basically f me yesterday and uh, sent me along you know uh basically my way down here because they're too fucking incapable of fucking you know actually admitting or or actually like you know looking at the circuit saying that it was a bad install they keep telling me it's normal wear and tear on the circuit that is correct install yes normal wear and tear ladies and gentlemen that's that's what you get see the fuse holder didn't pop the fuse didn't pop in the holder that's what that's what the tech said and he was trying to say how great his job was um how he how he likes to split uh you know a four and a half gauge wire into two four gauge wires you know basically doing it backwards uh like and i you know where's the instruction manual is it that hard you know these guys are like bozos they install my stereo they charge me all this money and uh, uh you know they have this i took it to car toys because they have an installation guarantee and the guy when he fixed my tweeter here he freaking left like massive wire in there and there should just be like small wire like there was before but i don't know whatever it was uh, uh you know every time it falls out now because they i can't actually give me a good install on that one uh, you know, I'm gonna have to like tape it, actually super glue the stupid thing in there because I don't want it falling out. But here we go. Here's 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 justice. Here's oh. justice for me. The guy who said that fucking this was a great job. Yeah, call me, call me Car Toys, because I'm gonna call you on all your horse shit. Like yesterday when I came in here and the guy said it was a proper circuit. He was like, oh yeah, that looks great. Yeah. Uh, until I freaking was like, you know, I've been defrauded. Please help me. I begged him. I was just, you know, you know. I just wanted to take a video of, 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 of him saying that that was a good circuit and then he told me to leave the store He's like you can leave the store sir, and I'm like well Yeah, I need that in writing I want it in video so I can go show a lawyer and sue your sorry ass cuz fucking that's some horse shit Even JL audio thinks so, you know, and yeah, they want to know why they want just don't want to deal with me Why I should take my business down the street to fucking the other installation bay that I you know car stereo warehouse that you know My my buddy used to own uh, uh, but he died, you know, and uh, whatever it's just uh, uh, uh you know, it's it is what it is. But uh, thanks, Jail. Thanks, Twitter. Thanks, YouTube, for not letting these guys fuck me to like USAA did, and they're fraud. But uh, yeah, you guys be careful because uh, Car Toys likes to wire up installations wrong. They take a main power feed and make sure it's extra small, smaller than the two wires that are feeding off of it. Okay, and uh, call it a great installation. See that? Best installs ever. Yeah, great job, Car Toys. Great job, Car Toys. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, the ground that he sloppily installed that he fucking just threw away in the trash and fucking didn't even show me where it went. Yeah, where's that ground, huh? Installer number fucking whatever. Yeah, you fuck. Huh, Clint, you like this now? You fucking sorry piece of fucking shit. Yeah, here's my YouTube.